Hey, what's up? Welcome back. So today I'm going to talk about cracking encrypted 7-zip archives. Uh, this is something I wrote about in April. It's a super simple process, but it's a handy trick that you'll need to know um, whether you're doing CTFs or you're going after your OSCP or whatever the case is. So if you want to learn how to crack an encrypted zip archive, you're in the right place. Okay, so let's just get started by taking a look at what we have here. So we've got this backup.7-zip file. I've also got this wordlist.txt, but don't worry about that. We'll, uh, that'll come in handy a little bit later once we're trying to crack a password. But the first thing we want to do is just take a look at this backup.7-zip file, and let's see what it's all about. So we can actually use the 7-zip utility built into Kali. Uh, we can give it the X flag, which is just to say, like, extract data is how I like to remember it. And then we'll specify the file we want to open up. Um, this gives us some details about the archive, and then it asks us here to enter a password. And we don't know what that is, so I'm going to type in the word password, see if that works. And we can see it gives us some errors, and it says that didn't work. And so if I list the contents out, we still haven't unzipped that archive. So we've got this backup.7z, and we can't get into it. So the next thing I want to try is let's see if we can extract the hash out of that file. Because if we can pull a hash out, then we might be able to use a tool like Hashcat or John the Ripper to crack that hash, right? Um, so the first thing I think of is, well, I know there's a tool called zip to john which is uh, a utility that should extract the hashes and put it in a format that John understands. Um, but if we try to run this here, we can just see dash dash help. And we can see that it looks like we can just pass it the, the zip file here. So let's just try that. We'll do zip to john and we'll give it this backup.7z, and nothing happens. Still don't have anything. So that didn't work, but there's actually another utility um, called 7-zip to John, or 7z to John, um, that you may not have installed in Kali by default. So if you don't, you can take a look at the blog post, link will be in the description where you can copy out this command, or you can just type it by looking at it here in the video. Um, but once you type this out, that should go out and download this utility here called 7, 7z to John. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna locate 7z to John. And you can see we've got it here in my user share John directory. Now, if I were to just take this and try to run it, it'll say command not found, right? So I'll copy the full path, and then we'll try to run that. And we can see, cool, it actually tells us, all right, give us the run the binary and then provide the 7-zip file. So that's awesome. Let's do that again. This time I will provide, I don't remember what it was called, backup.7z. We'll run that. Bam, and check that out. We've got a super crazy long hash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear the screen here. We'll run the command again. But this time, I'm just going to store this as hash.txt. So now, if we were to go in and we could just do like a gedit on hash.txt, we could see, cool, this is our, our file here. And we don't need this first part. That's just the name of the file. So I'm going to remove that. So that way, all that we're left with is the actual hash. We'll save that out, we'll close it down. And then now we can use a tool like Hashcat to actually try to crack that file, or I guess crack that hash. You could also use John if you'd like to, but I like using Hashcat. So I'm just going to start by saying Hashcat. I think it's dash dash hashes example or something like that. Maybe example hashes. There we go. Um, and then we can just kind of search through all this output. Now, if you'd rather do this in Google, you totally can. But I'm going to search for 7-zip and if we could find it. Here we go. And it uses hashcat mode of 11600. So perfect. We'll qu quit out of here, clear the screen. So now what we can do is, I don't know if I've still got, cool, I do have that copied. Um, oh, sorry, I don't actually need that. I need hashcat. So we'll run sudo hashcat, and then we'll provide the uh, mode. So attack mode of that, and it was 11600. Then we will provide the hash file that we want to crack as well as the word list that you want to use. Now, I've got this doctored word list here that's much shorter. I know it contains the password, so this will go quicker. Um, but if you didn't know which word list to use, you could try using the contents. If you look at user, share, word lists, built into Kali, you've got all these different word lists, including rocku.txt. You may also want to go out um, and you can download 
I've already got this. I think it's in my sec list directory and then passwords. There's all these different passwords here inside this sec list, which you can just get by going out to GitHub and you could just Google GitHub sec list and you'll get all these different word lists available. But once you have a word list, you'll pass that into right here and we'll just say enter and let this run. I'll have to provide my password there since I use sudo and all hashes are found in the pop file. Oh, so I actually ran this right before I did the video. <laughs> and so the hash must have been stored in the pop file. So I'll just say dash dash show. We'll say enter. And we get the same hash that we had displayed earlier. But you can see down here, and you can't see because my face is in the way. But you can see right here, um, the password is displayed and it said it's delete. Right. So if I had cleared out my my pot file before running this, then you'd see the whole process of it trying to crack and then it would eventually come back and say delete with the password in my instance. Um, but yeah, we are we're good. We know the password at this point. So I will come in here and we'll just clear that exit out of that bottom pane. Um, and then now we can do something like 7ZX, the name of our backup file. And then now I will type in the word delete. And it says everything is OK. We list the contents out. We've got all those PHP files now present here in the directory. And we can interact with them however we want. So that's it. Cracking a 7-zip archive is really simple. Um, I will admit that the encryption used by 7-zip is, is fairly good. Um, so using a large word list against a 7-zip archive will take a long time to crack. So it's a great way of encrypting maybe sensitive data that you want. Um, but again, encryption is only any good if you use a strong key. So make sure if you're using this as a way to protect your data, um, if you have a long, strong, unique password to protect that data with, you should be fine. But all right, well, thanks for checking this video out. If you like this type of content, please hit, consider hitting the subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what type of stuff you want to see in the future. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video.